Well, hello everyone, it's Lulu, and welcome to my Friday Makeup Fun video. Thank you to all my subscribers who are coming back and supporting this new, my return to my roots, my return to makeup, and welcome to all the new subscribers. I really appreciate you being here. So when I started my channel, and you can see by the numbers, I'm a tiny channel. I did a tag that was back in the YouTube tag days called Hot Lips Houlihan, and it was intended for anyone who remembered the original series, MASH, Hot Lips Houlihan. And so these questions were kind of geared toward the mature YouTube community. We were not very large back then. We have blossomed, and I'm thrilled, and I wish more of you, quite honestly, would, you, would start YouTube videos, because we need each other, especially those of us who are of a certain age and love beauty. There aren't that many of us, and even if you exist, there's, I don't know, I think there's a lot of judgment out there. So I have revised, revamped, re resurrected my Hot Lips Houlihan tag, which I created five or six years ago. It was very popular. Even, I have to, even Angie, Hot and Flashy Angie did it back then. Kristen Game did it. Like all the big ones back there that are now even bigger did it participated in it and I hope if you know someone who's a mature YouTuber maybe link this video and say hey can you do this one disclaimer I don't monetize I don't do sponsorships I don't do I don't know whatever the other word is affiliates or something I just would love to grow my community but more than that as a mature YouTuber as a mature woman I would love to share and know other answers because I'm nosy that way so here we go and if you don't have a YouTube channel Questions will be below. You can copy and paste them into your answer and then just answer them because I really think like we need to stick together and like know what's going on with each other. Number one, woo, I'm starting with a big one. And you might need time to prep for, I should say, this is not one of those spontaneous videos because some of these questions kind of maybe take a little thought in terms of products, in terms of routine. So that's the other thing I would share is that like this isn't necessarily one that you can just jump in and do spontaneously. Number one, do you think you look your age? I do. I'm soon to be 62 and I think I absolutely look my age. Uh, I think 62 in 2020 is very different than 62 in 1958 or 1965 or even 1975. I think we have so much more knowledge we understand about the sun there are so many more products the technology in skincare the technology in in color cosmetics is unbelievable so yes i think yes i i look my age i don't know well, i think i do what eye cream did you use last night i used benefiance um they only have one eye cream it is very very emollient i very very my skin is a grease pit like a grease pit french fries could use my face. My eyes are Sahara. Is there a desert that's drier than the Sahara? I have no idea. And so at night I use a very emollient eye cream. I can't do it during the day because it doesn't play well with concealer, but Benefiance has one eye cream, 24 hour wrinkle resist, and that's what I used last night. It is one of my favorite nighttime eye creams. Have you crossed over to granny panties? Not necessarily about beauty, but it's for those of us who remember Hot Lips Houlihan. I have not. I have not. Um, I don't know what else to say. I have not. I imagine someday I will for comfort, but really what I'm using now is quite comfortable, maybe because I'm used to it, but I have not gone the granny panties route. I did when I was pregnant with both of my sons. Absolutely. But since then, not. I don't know. I don't know what that says about me. Next, um, how often, if ever, do you wear red lipstick? Come on, ladies, get into it. If you watch me any amount of time, you know that is my thing. Red lipstick. And I wear it two or three or four times a week. I'm wearing it now. It is not, a, I, I will wear it to the grocery store. I will wear it to lunch with a friend. I will wear it. It doesn't matter. I love red lipstick and I have 55 of them just in red. We're not counting all the other colors. 55 of them just in red. Love it. Okay, uh, do you use vitamin C serum? Yes, I do. I use 20% with uh, vitamin E and ferulic, and I use the one from Timeless. I like vitamin C serums that have no added fragrance, so they're kind of stinky. 
and I like the ones that are very watery. So I put them in, you know, dropped it in my hands and I kind of pat it into my skin, whatever's left on my hands. And uh, they come in gels, they come in creams, they come in lotions. It's up to you. But I like Timeless. I trust that brand. I trust the owner. The price point is great. Her sales are great. You have to sign up for the email. But even without the sale prices, products are great. And as I said, I trust, like I really trust the owner. She's, she's blossomed. She is like the great American dream. I'm so proud of her. Okay, do you use, do you still use black eyeliner? I don't know that I ever did. I tight line. I will tight line, but I usually use a navy or a brown or a teal. I think back in the day I might have used a black. I have very, very small lid space eyelid space so I feel like eyeliner regular eyeliner of any color takes up too much real estate I do use it to emphasize my eyes a little bit more on camera but underneath I will use a blue or a teal and today again I use a navy to tight line but I I feel like black my very small eyes black makes them even smaller you know like they said wear black and you'll look thinner right well, I don't need my eyes to look any smaller, but I do like them to stand out a little bit, especially when I'm videoing. Okay, um, do you use... Stop. What is the highest heel height you can wear for three hours or more for all of us who remember hot lip sool hand? I can wear two and a half inches for hours. Hours, hours, hours. I can dance in them. I've worn them to weddings recently. Up until maybe a year ago, I was okay with three inches, but I think... Oh, uh, who knows? Age, not going out as much, um, but I have some really nice three-inch heels that I need to go to Goodwill, unfortunately. But two and a half, I can still do absolutely without a problem. And I, I wear them often enough and have all through my life that I think, you know, again, having worked outside the home, it, it was just part of the uniform, so to speak, even though, you know, we might have been wearing skinny trousers or cigarette pants, not necessarily suits back in the day, but I can still wear, thank goodness, like it makes me feel very, very, very hip and young to be able to buy shoes that are two and a half inch heels. Okay, do you use pressed powder, loose powder, or no powder? I use loose powder. I carry pressed powder because I'm oily skinned, but my loose powder, I apply with a damp beauty blender, the one that I use for my foundation, and to me, it is transforming. It is transforming. Like suddenly I have a flawless, smooth canvas. Powders from 10 years ago, if you're thinking about that, that was then. This is now. And there is a huge difference, even in the pressed powders. So I know there's a lot of mature women who are like, no way it accentuates wrinkles in the lines. <clears throat> I say to you, with today's technology, Maybelline fit me. You don't need to spend a lot. It's phenomenal. And, um, <coughs> sorry about that. Okay, how are your brows doing? I think for my age, they're doing okay. I use powder. I don't like a really defined brow. I like a soft brow that is darker than my natural brow because they used to look like this, obviously. Um, I don't like them too thick. I don't like them too thin. I just like a natural looking brow and I feel like a powder gives me the most natural look without, you know, if someone were talking to me, they wouldn't see like lines drawn or anything like that. Um, how often do you wear glitter or metallic shadows? Mostly when I'm doing a video or when I'm going to a public event because again, I have very small eyelids, but we don't look just straight on. We, we look down at menus. We look over at people. We look down. We... And I feel like a metallic or a shimmery eyelid color shows that I actually have an eyelid. Um, because I think when I'm looking straight on, you can barely tell. But when I look down, I'm wearing a very metallic one today. Uh, there's the lid. And I like that different, differentiation of lid versus crease. However, I don't do glitter. I'm, um, I probably need to do get glitter glue. I'm always afraid of the glitter like spilling down into my cheeks. Anyway, I'm fine with metallic or shimmer. Do you wear sleeveless tops, dresses, tunics? Absolutely, my comfort is more important than anything. I run warm because of medication. I wear sleeveless all through the winter. I love sleeveless. I 
my arm, trust me, my arms are nothing to write home about. I am really working on my arms though because I think there might be an event in the next year or two in my life, in my family. Um, enough said. So I'm actually working out with weights and bands. But I, before that, it didn't matter to me. I just like, I sweat if I have sleeps on for any amount of time. <clears throat> How often, if ever, do you use glycolic acid products? I think as a mature beauty, you really need to use some type of exfoliant. Um, I think that the scrubs are maybe a little too harsh at our age, but the acids are gentle and good for our skin, and you have to get off those dead skin cells. You have to. Um, they just don't fall off by themselves as often as they did when we were, were younger. So you're spending all this money on skincare products, and you're like, why aren't they working? That's because when you put them on, they're sitting in this layer of dead skin cells. So get them off. And, and really, if you prefer a scrub, fine. If you prefer a great you know, washcloth, fine. You prefer the Clarisonic, fine. I happen to like the acids. I love glycolic acid. I use... Um, I use a cleanser that has glycolic acid, and what I'll do is, after I oil cleanse, because I always oil cleanse first to make sure I get all my SPF off, dry, dry my face, then I'll put on the glycolic cleanser and let it just sit for a minute. Not long, a minute, like brush my teeth, I'm done, and then add water and foam it off. And I also use glycolic, 10% glycolic pads, but that's my preference. But whatever you do, I, I guess the message is, I hope you're exfoliating, but let me know if you use glycolic. Very curious about that. Which looks younger, your hands or your neck? By far, my hands. By far, by far, by far, my hands look younger than my neck. If you saw me in person, trust me, my hands versus my neck. No bueno. I'm not saying my hands look great. I'm just saying they look better than my neck. Okay, here we go. Do you take vitamins or supplements for vision or hair or both? I take supplements for hair, have for years, because what I have a thinning hair problem, so at least whatever is growing is thicker, so it can hide the thinness. It doesn't sprout new hair, um, but it makes the hair that is actually growing healthier and thicker, so it looks like I have more hair. And I'm about to start taking vision supplements. I think it is time. It's a serious problem. My mother has macular degeneration. My sister is on the cusp. One of my sisters is on the cusp of it. My dad had been diagnosed with it shortly before he passed away. Vision. I, I, oh, losing vision. So I am very much on the cusp of starting vision. If you have one that you like, please let me know below. Please. Okay, uh, as you age, do you look more like your mother or father or don't know? Neither. Have no idea. I absolutely positively look like my mother. Like there is just anyone and everyone will tell you that. When I was very young, like more birth to maybe six or seven, totally my father. Like totally. Like might have, you know, been his female twin sister or something. Well, whatever. But I have, for most of my adult life, absolutely looked like my mother, which is, I think is fabulous. I don't know what else to say. Like, it's just, I mean, it's just, it's pretty darn cool. Okay. The most subtle highlighter I own, which I think highlighter has a place in the mature, for mature beauty. It lifts your cheeks. It lifts your eyes. It maybe makes your nose look a little less squished. But I, for one, like subtlety. And I believe Laura Geller French Vanilla is beyond compare. The other one is the Laura Mercier, Laura and Laura, um, Zero One Radiance Highlighter? Matte Radiance, matte, matte Radiance, kind of weird. What do they call those words, like jumbo shrimp? What are those, poly, whatever. I think that uh, I think there is very much a place for highlighting, not because it's the trend or it's the thing, but more than anything to lift, to lift particularly above the eyes, the cheekbones, maybe bring the chin out a little bit. You so those are the of a neck lift, eye lift, boob lift, or tummy tuck. Which do you choose? Me? I'm taking a tummy tuck, which I think is completely different than the answer I gave five years ago when I created this. But the tummy tuck is because, again, I'm thinking there might be this event in the next year or two, and that anyway, is what you're tummy tuck. 
last vacation you took. Come on, are we vacationing at our age? Are we having fun? Or are we like not able to? But I, I have sick, the real like vacation vacation was Disney because we always go to Disney. We have all our lives gone to Disney. Disney is, I would like to be buried at Disney. I no, don't want to go to Rome, don't want to go to London, don't want to go to Egypt, don't want to go to Sao Paulo. I want to go to Disney, just like the football players. I love it. I love it beyond words. Did you buy the Tati Blendiful? Now, this isn't necessarily geared towards mature, but I'm just curious how the mature beauty community reacted to that and if they bought it. And if you want to share your thoughts, fine. I did buy it because some people that I watch mature really recommended it, really liked it. It was on the fence. I will tell you, I bought it and I'm like very, this eh. one has it down. And finally, what is the best memory of your mother's beauty routine? And uh, this was in the original Hot Lips Hand tag. And my, my answer certainly hasn't changed. Watching my mother over the sink, you know, the mirror over the sink in the bathroom, applying her lipstick, which is perhaps why I'm such a frickin' lipstick lover. And back in the day, they wore bright lipsticks. And the other is the smell of ponds. Oh, like that takes me back like that. And I bet that's true for many of you. Like ponds was the, the cleanser. It was, it was the way the world, it was, uh, so please, I, I think of all the questions, this one might be the most interesting, cute, fun, introspective, retrospective, whatever. Thank you so much for joining me. All the questions will be below. Please tag one of your favorite mature YouTubers to do this tag. And again, if you don't have YouTube, copy and paste the, uh, the questions below and then type in your answers. So thank you so much. Enjoy yourself and happy Valentine's Day.